Good afternoon, everybody. I'm trying to figure out this camera because I noticed last night's video I wasn't getting trying to get as much of the workspace as possible so I'm not losing anything on it. Okay, let's hopefully that is a good angle. I put it a little higher so that um, maybe more would be seen. Sometimes I put it closer, especially when I'm doing like finer detail work. Um, today is Tag Tuesday in Junk Journal Craft and Chat. I know many other uh, YouTubers, they also do do Tag Tuesday. Um, so we're having an, January is called, um, I can't even think of the title right now. Sorry guys, my brain today is, well it's been fried all week. I feel like all I could do is sleep sleep and sleep that's really what i do even today i'm kind of forcing myself to do this let's get organized that's a simple title and i can't seem to it and so for week one we're working on scraps so we first we're i have one more box to still do i'll probably do that later on this evening um it's coming together you might not be able to see it as well so some of my scraps are in here my larger big cardstock scraps are in another area but this is mainly what I'll work with so what we're going to do is one of the things I thought last night when I was cleaning up some scraps I started like this was on a file folder and it was thrown in my scraps but it was like it wasn't a tag so I clipped it and turned it into a tag I have this punch and I did the same thing I had some cardstock white scraps so I thought Oh, let's take it a bit further than just using our scraps. Let's use our scraps to begin it by doing tags. I have this. It's not really thick, but it's fine. And really, you don't even have to do anything to the back if you don't want to. Um, your choice. This was a pair, uh, some scrapbooking that I must have printed. So, and then I stenciled on it, and it was just sitting in there. So then I just clipped it, turned it into a tag. Same here. This was just some brown cardstock. This was a piece of file folder. I had this little piece. I thought, oh, I'll make a little, I use my tag punch. So that's basically what I did to start. So I just, because a lot of times in within our cardstock, like this is my colored cardstock package. Um, and like, for instance, I have a lot of this because um, when I was doing my sister's wedding, this was the ends of something that I did and then I was doing her table numbers and I didn't like how it looked. Well, most people would throw that in the recycle, but I didn't because this is cardstock, good value cardstock, and this can be covered. So I kept it all and I threw it in my scraps and I have all kinds of different sizes. So that's perfect. Even this size could make a long skinny tag. And what I might do is just fold it in half like this and I, if I don't have anything blue because I don't do much in this color I don't even know why I have these strips I'm trying to remember um, and then I could turn them in the tag but what I'm just thinking now I'm just grabbing it sorry I have two tag punches I'm grabbing I want to get a bigger one Oops. where is it this one and I'm going to try something else with another one of my punches. So if you have punches, this is another good way to use up your scraps. I'm going to also try something with another. It just kind of hit me. So some of these might even be the perfect size for this one. It actually is. It fits perfectly in my two inch. And so there we go. And I have a tag. Oh, no, it doesn't. Somehow that got really lopsided, but that's easy fix. I'll just top, chop off the top. So it isn't for some reason, I can maybe put my glasses down and that would help. Let me see if I balance this right in the middle because it's a little bit bigger. There we go. I just didn't center it properly. So there we go there's a tag and then you can keep this these in in a, a box or in a separate place I have a, a 
a tag box, but I'm going to, we're, we're, that's one of our organizations we will do. Um, throw that in little scraps. I didn't bring my garbage can closer. Um, so, and then as well, I can take this one and I could just do this. And even sometimes I don't won't do the full one because I sometimes like to use this in a cluster um, as well. So you can do that. Or sometimes you just need a little tag. So you can keep these little ones. Sometimes I keep these little ones separate from my tag making. I My tag, my mask making and tags, I have to figure out a better organization. So that becoming, and I'm still not thinking that is balanced enough the more I look at it. I don't like it. It's just not working. And now it's really off balance at the top, whereas before. And so then when I do it, I just fold it over slightly, not too hard so I don't get too much of a crease. And then I just, I know other people use credit cards or they eyeball it. I'm not good with the eyeball thing. And so I went back to that. Because the, the one punch I have, you have to be pretty exact. Um, this punch or it never really looks as good so it, it's really a little bit more and it just doesn't punch so and these what I was thinking and I don't know if it's gonna work because of the way no it won't it won't because if I could I was thinking I could punch a tag and use this but it doesn't work because I can't get it the right way. It doesn't long enough. So that that thought went out. I thought maybe I could take this punch. I'll just show you. But this also too. Uh, so it's an off our thing. But you could also take. And if you have punches. Whale tail punch. Or different tab punches. You could also use your scraps this way. And this one becomes a little shorter. So this will just become a part of a fussy cut. So you can do tabs. I was hoping that I could punch it out and have it punched here on the tag. But I could trace it as well. I could trace this and then cut around it if I really wanted to. But let me put that punch away. What I also do sometimes, and I think I kept that on, um, I make tags this way. Um, as you can see, I save all the white. Some, I will tea dye some of these. This is supposed to be white and cream. There's not as much cream. But these little ones here, um, I find what I like to do. For instance, let me grab this. Let me grab my, and this will be, basically this is a tag with scraps. We are, we are going to do some collaging in a moment, but if, if you, you know, it's using up your scraps. So I do this. I'll show you the other thing I do. Um, and then I take. And I punch so you can do that these are great to do in dangles I a lot of times I do dangles with them um, and different things you could also shorten it with that um, and you don't have to just use a script also what looks really nice that I have used in this if I can just find it here I'm lucky I didn't put my stamps too far away and again this is using up your scraps I'm using up these long narrow scraps and you can do them in different colors so if you have your different let me pull out my walnut stain I got so much on my desk again and then my wallet stain even when I put new ink in it it's not really great right now so nothing says it has to be straight on you could just do and you could add in a different you could do a well that didn't work at all but anyways 
and then just take your punch, trying to get the writing at least going the right way. And again, my walnut is not working really well, but I sometimes I, I keep these beside my desk and I punch a bunch of these up. I don't even know if I might even be out of them right now. I'm just checking to see because I keep these and I do shorten them sometimes. I think I'm out. But in the, oh, in the midst of that, I found some scraps stuffed in my drawer. So we'll take those out. Yeah, so I know that's one of the things I will do with my scraps. Oops, sorry. I brought on. I sometimes just have that. I just, um, let's see, I found some scraps, pink scraps. Is that in my cardstock. And again, this is a perfect one. Don't even have to do much to it. There we go. And I've got another tag. And these are great to do a bunch of them up and have them just, then you can grab them and depending on what you want to do to them, they're handy. Cover them in book pages if you want your scrap book pages. Uh, pull them out and cover them up with scrap, which I'm going to probably do in a few minutes. I sometimes see it's a shorter one because I'll use it in, and I don't have, I wish I had one right now. But I'll put it in a dangle. I'll even put it in a cluster. Um, can be really good too. Just put it in a... I wish I had a cluster available to show right now. If I didn't think about it at the time till I'm on the air. I can hear my cat meowing upstairs. Mike has um, my friend who I rent the basement from he's up and about and she likes attention and since I'm here so this is my clusters I got to find a better way to well this works I just got to figure it out a bit better but I also will make scrap I have um clusters that are ready and some that are in the process so for instance you can take these and add them into your clusters as well I don't have an image right now. Well, I'll have these that I did last night but haven't put away yet because I haven't finished. Let's say we can do that. And there we go. So making some of these up with your scraps is great. You don't have to have the punch. You can do them without. So I like to keep them on hand, plain ones as well as stamped ones. To put into clusters as well. Oh, that wasn't supposed to go in with those. The reason these haven't been put away yet is because I'm gonna I have to still finish punching them out and take a picture of what I did. I'll do that after I'm trying to decide if after I do this while I'm at while it's doing all its editing, if I'm gonna have a nap. Well, I'm just gonna sit on the couch and veg. I don't know why I'm so tired. So you can put them right into that you can punch a, a little hole on the top and layer pieces like even those that I did. I know that Leslie on 507 Widows, she calls them twisted tangles, but I could do something like that and add something else to the back and put a pin and make it. So this is great to do with your scraps as well with, with your tags. So depending on what you want to do with them. So there, I made, well, this is an old one. So these I just keep separate and I keep them in the drawer beside me and I grab them out every so often. Um, so when you're maybe doing your tags, you might want to keep some of your stamps close by and do some of that. That's totally up to you. It's your tag. Um, it's Tag Tuesday. So I'm just going to show you. See, I've got a lot of skinny ones that it can't be used, but these are great for belly bands. But here, some of them are, the paper's too thin. I'm basically looking for the cardstock. I'm just seeing what I have in here. Oh, 
I was eating earlier and I bit the side of my tongue and boy does my tongue hurt now. And now like I have these that at some point I printed but I don't I didn't like them on the plane. Um I don't know why I did that. So even with this instead of I won't I threw it in my scraps. And again, taking that scrap and not I didn't waste it. I can cover that side up. I'll take some scraps. Right now I'll do that. I'm going to grab some a scrap of a book page. Oh, it almost fits the whole thing. But the way I'm going to do it is I want to put a little color into it. Oh, that's garbage. That's garbage. My garbage can is full and I keep putting it in there. And uh, <laughs> let's just say it's falling on the floor more than it is getting in the that's my job, it's supposed to be my job after I do this, to sweep up around my desk, I swept around my living room space, and I slept, swept around my bedroom and mopped my bedroom. Doing, trying to do a little bit of cleaning as I go, because you know how it gets at Christmas, you're in such a hurry? The reason I put the print to the outside is because I decided when I was doing this, I have a pair of amazing fussy cut scissors and I left them at my sister's in <laughs> when I went home because I was using them for her while well, I was doing a journal while I was doing her wedding. But here I, um, I can get a nice, let me pull that out. I'm just going to move that scrap bag back out of the way for now and I'm going into my bag of printed digitals of my scraps. Let's see what I have. You could add another type of book page to it if you wanted to. I was thinking color. And I know exactly which color I want. And I'm going to pull this basket of scraps here. I was cleaning up around my desk. But this also, some of this is for journals I'm, I'm working on, the bottom part of it. So I, because I might use this in a journal, I'm going to pull out one of the scraps from it. Ooh, I like this one. And then I'll put it in. Yeah, I like that. Perfect. So all I'm going to do... I'm going to glue a little here. It's a quick, easy tag. And the thing is, I'm going to get rid of scraps in three different ways. One, I got rid of a card, some cardstock scrap, this scrap here that I threw in there. And I'm not going to throw that away. That's going to go in my itty bitty ones. Or um, when I'm doing the scrappy hearts. Okay, put that back away. And then, of course, we get scraps that are lined paper. So I'm going to pull out one of my lined papers. Oh, no, I want that kept for some of these. You'll see why I keep, I'm not using these because I'm going to use these later and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with them. So I'm not using that scrap up. I'll find it when... Up. I want to use some smaller pieces up. I don't know why that's in that. Oh, we'll go ahead and use this one. I think this one is wide enough. Yep, so I pulled that scrap out. And it's actually printed on cardstock, so this is going to make this tag nice and thick. It's going to be double cardstock, but that's okay. And I'm going to put that up to the top there. Move it to the side here. Make sure my sides are covered. There we go. Trim it. And sometimes I shouldn't be using this with the glue. Because I try and... Technically that white pair and the other pair I left at my sister's are my... I put scissors on my Christmas wish list. Amazon but no one gave me any scissors 
<laughs> One of the easiest things to give me, too. I got some neat things I'll have to show you later. Um, I got some nice stuff to add. I got some two glue sticks in my my thing, but then when we were talking, they were like, oh, well, we don't know what to put in your stocking. And I, because I asked for not a lot of junk food. Sometimes we fill them with junk food. But I, one of my things for the new year is to get, to get my weight back under control. And I have, I have a bad sweet tooth. So here we go. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to punch my hole or anything because I don't know how I will use it in the journal. Um, and I do that a lot of times, even when I mass make tags, I don't punch any holes in it. Um, because then I can decide later what I'm going to do. And there we go. A tag using scraps so and I, now I still have that I'm going to throw that in my tiny scraps so I'm just going to put those little things what I need is oh I think I have one it's a little garbage can for when I'm filming okay so that's done with it's all scraps scrap cardstock scrap book pages scrap printed digital scrap graph paper there we go and it's a tag ready. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I should have got some water before I started. <coughs> oh, really? Excuse me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use all of these because I want to get rid of this piece. Now, what else you can do with this? I'm going to go ahead and just trim these up and out. I think in one of them, what I did is, because the to and from is still here, which is kind of cool. I might keep that and scan that because I like the way the writing's done for something. I have something I'm going to be doing in the future to put in my store net for next Christmas. And I like the way that to and from is done. So I'm going to just put that aside. Now I'm not going to, I'm going to try to even this up a bit. Now I know about you, but sometimes I think it needs to be straight a bit more. I try to see but I'm bad at that even looking at it it's got a little bubble bump there I don't think I'm gonna get it much better than that and what I do with these sometimes I'll show you once I cover it I'm gonna cover it in a second and get rid of that scraps so there's a nice big chunk of scrap I'm gonna get rid of and it's gonna sit in my ready tag box which I've got a one of the things we'll do in our organization of things so here we go I'm gonna I forgot to trim this off there we go throw those up there this is completed we'll just put it there again I'm jumping into this scrap pile. I didn't sort these yet because uh, it's just a basket I was cleaning up around my my desk yesterday to get it. To, I'm going to use all of that, but I'm not going to waste it all. I want it as close to the edge as possible. I mean, our goal is to get rid of scraps, but I also am not going to waste waste it either. So, because it can be these it gives me more scraps to use and yeah, create use a scrap to create more scraps. But it's not a scrap that I won't have a hard time using. I keep forgetting to put my glasses down now when I do this stuff because I can't really see it really well. I'm not used to having to do that. I just recently started having to 
wear the glasses for doing my phone or reading or fine detail like this there we go I'm not getting rid of these they're gonna go in my little scrap to make those will be pretty on butterflies Ooh, those will be now I want to do So we got that covered and again I'm going to just grab go into my I have line paper scraps and I have colored paper scraps this is a lot of this is my I have some photocopy paper that's different colors so that's in there I have some art book pages that I've used some of the paper and I've saved it that's why it says cream art paper just so I know what those scraps are and then I have my digital blank print printed papers um i have like dyed aged tea coffee so i have those and then i also have my tea or coffee dyed paper scraps and then i have my colored i don't really have a lot of colored dye right now because it's just something new i started doing so let's jump into this one and grab a piece out of here because sometimes these little pieces are all left over from when I made, it's not quite big enough, from when I made, used them for tagging other, ta bigger tags, and I just keep them, I use them in cluster making, I use them in stamps, for stamps, that's perfect, as I'm going to do right now, because when I put the other scrap away, I want to get rid of that white now, some, yesterday when I did some of this, I, uh, my sorting the past two days, um, I still got a big box to sort, um, Mm. Uh, last night I was going to do it, but my one kitty cat, Boo Boo, she likes to um, be held, but not held held. She, I'll sit up, be sitting at my desk, and she comes, lays on the desk. I put my hand, arm down. She rests her heads and wraps her arms around it and stretches across. And then I tuck my arm under her back legs and on her belly. And she just basically lays in my arms like that on the desk. It gets hard on my back. And then she gets mad because I have to move. <laughs> because my back starts to give out. And I, my butt starts falling out of the chair from leaning forward so much. But that's what she wanted last night. So she and I, I took her a couple times to my bed after she got cuddled a bit. Hoping that then she would stay in the bed. But no, she jumped down and come back and... She just wanted to be held last night, so I didn't get anything done last night. I got to watch some TV. I did some Googling of some storage ideas. I did that type of stuff instead. There we go. There's another tag. Now, this one, it could be done left the way it is. I can also get a, a nice... And this isn't really collage, but this is, I said collage because it was the easiest thing to say. Okay, let me move those uh, pikas here. My roommate and my friend must have went upstairs and closed his bedroom door. So now she's down here. Hey, behave. And she wants to head to my other bucket. But this, again, I could, if I wanted to, I could put these on. Oh, they're too big one of those on there um but I think I'm I don't think I might just put a word here but I won't necessarily fully decorate these because depending and I might just because I think the paper is beautiful on its own with some nice ribbon on it I don't know if it'll need anything more so here we go now what we'll do with this one let's Let's maybe collage a little more. The little ones it's hard to really collage with unless you have a lot of little scraps. What you might do with this one. Yeah, well. Now if you want, you can, sometimes in collaging it does look nice. Now this of course is not all going to be, I'm going to just cut that off. Not all of that will be on the paper. I'm just going to put some glue on this 
tag here and then play around how I want this to sit. Oh. There we go. We're going to do that. But I don't think I want that fully covered. Let's see what else I have down in deep down in here. Down in that basket deep, what other scraps do I have? Maybe a piece of this. Piece of that. Yeah, I think I'll do that, but I want to just, shouldn't have. Oops. I don't know if you guys noticed what I did, but I don't think I was on camera. It's harder to, you guys don't really need to see me do the inking because you all know how to do that. Let's put this down. I don't want to cover up too much of those, the, that, but got to fill that hole. So now I'm just going to trim some of this off right now. The only thing I, I thought of do, that I didn't, because we just, it's only a week, so there's so much you can do. But, you, I mean, if you find you've got too many scraps and you really want to deal with a lot of them right away, um, my suggestion is get some and do some master boards. Even if you don't cut them all out, have master boards ready. I have some master boards already ready. I keep a book like this. Um, this is, used to be an Avon book that I filled up. So sometimes when I get too much scraps and I haven't lately, and I might do that because it's out of control, I'll just go ahead and I'll just keep that. And as you can see, it, it needs some work. And I gesso the front of this and the back of this to fade out the lines, but also that gesso kind of gives it a little more sturdiness since it's paper. And once once you glue the paper to the front and glue the paper to the back, it makes it nice and dur durable. So I do that as well because I use those books for writing notes and then they're not notes I'm going to keep. It was orders. So instead of throwing it all into the thing, I just use it that. Let me grab a piece of scrap. Some scraps I, I have a hard time using because this isn't a color that I use often is peach. It's peachy orange. So sometimes these scraps, I don't really have, sorry, Pika, you can't be here. Ah, okay, let me give you a little snuggle. Oh, you can protest all you want. Okay, time to go. Sometimes if I force her to have a snuggle, she doesn't like it. <laughs> so, so then she runs away. And she gets out of my way. <laughs> she wants to lay in my scrap box. Oh, look at that scrap is was made. Oops, I hope I'm in camera. That scrap was made for there. It was just made for there. These little ones are perfect. It got a lot of little whoops scraps my my computer stopped and it, it does it, like I have a I'm an old school I've got a desktop computer with the whole modem thing and everything I love it I don't get rid of it um, I prefer it everybody keeps saying get a laugh um, a laptop, it'll be so much easier. I want a laptop too, but I would probably still mainly use that. I want the laptop for when I am go home and travel and go up to the beach. Uh, my sister's trailer, my mom's trailer for summer and sometimes. Um, even when, when I go to Florida in September, which is something I'm, my, one of my best friends is getting married, but I was looking up at hotels. Oh, oh really expensive she's getting married in Fort Lauderdale and hotel is really really expensive I might have to look at um, Airbnb and see if I can get something maybe a better price that way I'm on a very limited budget so and there we go
a nice little collage tag and this would be great with a nice little image on it. I don't want to pull all my fussy cuts out. Uh, basically right now we're just covering them. Um, maybe next week I'll pull these out when we're doing fussy cut and finish them up that way. Let's grab a piece of paper. I just grabbed a random one. Oh, it worked out perfect. And these tags, other than maybe a little image on it, are pretty much ready to go. And there's nothing wrong with having bases ready like this. Because you don't know what, maybe it's going to end up in a purple journal. Maybe it's going to end up in a baby blue journal. Maybe it's going to end up, you know, you don't know what a natural thing. So you, you don't know what type of journal it's going to end up. So you may not, you may want just to have the bases ready to add to it. And even just like this, it looks nice. So there we go. Ugh. I'm surprised yet I haven't cut my finger on my scissors from cl cleaning glue off of them. There we go. Another t little tag done. And other than this, that's all I have left. Now what I do with these sometimes, and it's something I got in a happy mail from somebody, and I'm trying to remember who right now. What these are great for is, um, it especially works if you have, uh, like if I had dark cardstock. In this case, I'm going to have to cover this one. Oh, this is already doubled over. I may not, I'm going to use it for the same thing, I think. I don't think it's wide enough for a tag. Nope, it's not wide enough for a tag. And this also is a piece that I might... Um, Normally I could punch, uh, use my tab punch and get a couple tab punches out of that as well because I doubled it over so it's nice and sturdy. It's kind of ready to go. I'm just trying to grab out a scrap out of my book pages. I have some full pages in here too, but I have a lot of scraps. Lot of, lot of, lot of scraps. And again, if you don't like all this print, take a stamp and stamp up it or add, do whatever you want to it if you don't want the whole. This I'm going to color, cover both sides with book page because what I'm going to, how I'm going to do it doesn't matter which way because. It's not really a tag, but I'm still going to show you because when you're making tags, it's and you're if you're making some bases and you get some of these pieces, and you want them gone. And it, it, it doesn't have to be a very balanced one because what the person did was she basically did this, but then she put a little um. Like a little collage on it. This one's too big. Um, but, you know, you take... I put my punch on top of this little box of scraps. Um, pulling out my little box here. See what little pieces I have. Mm-hmm. start to it other than what also looks good on this is a piece of doily sticking from the top and I know I had a scrap doily somewhere but I don't know where I put it <laughs> did I just leave it on my desk when I found it yesterday because I didn't know where to put that scrap oops almost threw something all over the ground and make a mess but I didn't I don't know where I put that scrap doily. Too bad, so sad. And I don't I don't want to tear another doily up to do it. That's 
too bad. I had it here last night. I don't know where I tucked it because I was like, what am I going to do? I didn't have any doilies unless I did end up putting it in there. Oh, you know, when you have thoughts, let me just go. Have a white. Oh, maybe I've got another little, it's not darkly tea dyed, but there is a little scrap because sometimes I find what looks nice on the top of this is this like this, that like that. But I want more of that doily sticking out. And then I don't think I need another piece of paper on that. But then I'm almost thinking maybe a nice little color in there would be nice. And then, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I keep trying to make sure I'm on camera. And I'm just going to put that there because I'm going to use the staple. But... You could, if you had a little lace scrap, you could add that into it. I need my stapler. I am tripping over my blanket. I always have a big long blanket on my chair and sometimes it's, I have this piece of lace that's uh, here. Now you could just leave it just like that and staple it or if you want I was thinking my little heart might look good but it's too big then I was thinking this little flower on it and then take my stapler and do that I should have I didn't cover the back because that was the only thing I didn't do yet because um, sometimes I cover up the staple. So there's that. And see what those little nice little things, they come in handy. I'm going to stick that up there. Whoop. So not only did you get rid of a the scraps you got rid of, you got rid of a tiny cardstock scrap, you got rid of a book page, you got some little teeny ones gone, you got a lace scrap. Well, it wasn't really a full lace scrap, but... And there you go. And then you can decide whether you want to cover it just with book page. But, I mean, somebody could write on that. And sometimes what I will do, because I get a lot of very narrow, just to add something to the back of it. What am I going to do? Oh, my hair. Sometimes there's cat hair. I try to keep the cats away from when I'm creating. But it's not always possible. But it's my hair mainly always fine. I don't know why. Losing my hair. I'm glad I have thick hair, but I've been losing a lot of hair lately. I know it has to do with my thyroid. There we go. Oh, the house is so quiet right now. It'd be a perfect time for a little nap. Not quite long enough. Not quite long enough. See, I have so many of these little narrow pieces. I just wanted a contrasting color. Oh, here we go. go and then we just go and trim it <laughs> 